Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, it's G from Happiness and Crafting. So today I've got this idea from Laurie Girl on the Ridge. She um, was making a big, big journal um, and she was adding to her pages because she was just making, she was just using the normal size um, journal pages because her journal was really big. She wanted to extend the pages. Um, which looked amazing. I absolutely love them. Her stuff is really, really pretty. Very, very feminine. Um, so I don't need to extend my big pages, but I loved the idea. So what I'm doing, I'm extending the little pages that I've got. Now, in my kits, I always sort of like make the little postcard um, sizes, which are the, the, the full pages, but, but um, smaller. So I thought I would extend these... Um, to pop on the pages as well, which I think are lovely. Now I'm going to just show you, I'll take that off so it's on a plain page. So when you pop them on, look, doesn't that look lovely? I think it looks such a lovely idea. Um, this side I popped a little pocket in here. Um, I've got a little pocket in this bit. So you're just adding bits on and sewing them on or sticking them on. Little bits of fabric, this is a little bit of um, seam binding on there. But I just love them and I got one of my little page tabs there and I managed to pop a little bit of the rose trim which the colours blend really really nicely on there. So I think these are really nice and you can sort of hang some dingly danglies off there. So that's one of them. This is the first one that I did. Um, I popped a little sort of like tuck spot in there. Um, I've got some lace and I've got some little beads on there as well. I haven't put the beads down the middle bit because that's going to be sort of in the spine of the journal like that and it will have to be sewn in so I didn't want the beads in the way um, but you've still got this to journal on and I think it's a really really lovely addition to your journals such a great idea so thank you Laurie for this idea I'm going to make another one so I've got three signatures in my journal well I will have um, so I want to make three um, of these little inserts. So I'm going to use this one. Now I have uh, chalked on the back to give it some colour. Um, I'm just loving the chalks at the moment. So as you know, I've got some bits and pieces here. I think that's quite a pretty fabric. I've got some little um, sort of like rosy trim here as well, which is nice colours. This is a little bit of off cut lace, which would probably work really nicely on here just hanging down I've got some other bits of lace here that I might use as well little white bits so I'm going to take a piece I think I've got a scrap piece so just use your scrap pieces of paper to extend it now I'm going to just extend a bit on either side first so I'm just going to fold that over do excuse my plaster I broke my nail right down to my finger bed so it's so so sore so let's just rip this down like that and then this will just slide on to this page like that and then you just sew it on stick it on however you like now I think maybe this might be just a little bit too small for that side so let's get another piece <coughs> So how big do I want it? I might have it so it comes down a little bit bigger. So let's just rip this off. But do use all your scrap paper for doing this. You could even use some um, the digital papers as well. So let's have a look. That would come down. Maybe I'll do it this way. So it's a little bit longer. Not all the way. Now I've got this piece of paper that is the tracing paper or vellum that I have underneath and I keep this on the table so it doesn't reflect my lights above me. Um, and what I can do, what I do, I use it as a sort of like a template um, so I know how big the page is. So I'm just going to put that so as long as it doesn't, um, it's not any bigger than that, it will fit perfectly. But I don't want it that long so let's just rip that off like that so those will go on there I might even just use like a little pocket on this one as well so if I 
just take that down. I'm going to fold that over and then just slip that in there. Like that. So that means I can have a pocket here. That can just slip in there like that. And then I've got this little tuck spot in there which will look nice and I think I'll just leave that one as it is. And then maybe put just a tab. Let's have a look. I've got all my bits in here which is where I'm going to keep all my paper so I don't lose them all. Let's see if I have a little tab in here. I've got some bits here. I've got the man's one. See, these are so lovely. I'm just loving this kit because it's so different to what I would normally do. Sorry, I'm not very organised this morning. So I will have, well, I'll find another one in a minute. Let me have a look. Let me just start doing this. Now I'm going to edge this here. Just, I'm going to add a little bit of ink. And then I'm going to actually colour this one with some chalk again because I'm loving the chalks. Now, these are the lovely blues and greens. So let's have some, again, some this lovely blue that we have in here. Just like that. I think I, it's made me use more colour actually using these chalks because normally I don't use a huge amount of colour. I'm just use the um, the vintage photo ink. So it really has made me use a lot more colour in here, which is good. Let's just pop that on there. So that will go on this one, like that. Now before I put that on there, I think I might stitch down this bit, just to reinforce that so it goes in there. And what I need to do is just add a little bit of colour to this bit. Open it out. So again, you can just use all your odd ones because Laurie just made just rips her paper um, and she just pops it on and makes ruffles and all sorts. So I'm going to link the video down because it's great. Um, she does really does do some pretty work. So I'm going to just maybe I'll add a little bit of blue to this. So that will go inside. Let's put this down there for a minute. Like that. And then like that. So that will sit on there. So that's nice. And then we will do this bit. So we will have to do a little bit of blue on there. And then I've just got this piece of lace which I think will just hang down there really pretty. On this one. I don't think it really matters which way I go. I think I will probably just hang that down there. So let's just add another little bit of colour here. Now, I'm going to just stick this one on I think. So a little bit of tacky glue in here. I will be sewing it. So I'm not going to put too much on. I'm just going to put a little bit. Can I just line it up with that just to make sure I'm sort of straight? Like that. Turn it over. Oops. I'm going to. I think I will just glue the whole thing down just like this. A little bit of glue all over. Lovely. Let's just tear that a little bit. Go. That's a little 
bit better. So we will sew that in a minute. Pop that on there like that. I need to sew that first. So that looks really nice. So that's easy, isn't it? That's not too difficult. And then that's the back. So I will have to pop a little bit of chalk on here before I sew it. Again, we can add the chalk afterwards anyway. So let's just pop this on here. So I think I will glue this piece down before I sew it anyway. Let's just... I love glue. Oops. Pop that down like that. Okay, so I'm going to just nip to the sewing machine and I'm just going to go down this bit and then I'm going to pop it back in there like that and stick that down and then maybe yeah no i'm just going to glue this i'm just going to sew this bit down so i'm going to be two seconds okay so there we go so that's just sewing down there so that is the pocket the little pocket bit now i'm going to stick this on the back a little bit of glue down here this is going to get sewn eventually anyway so i'm not worried about the glue too much Stick that on top of there. Make sure this is not very straight, is it? Not very straight at all. A little bit of glue on here. Oh, I need to glue all of this down, don't I? Just glue it up. Little bit of glue on here, down there. There we go. So that's our little pocket, like that. I will sew that in a minute. Perfect. So now I'm going to. So that goes over like that. So that's the back. This I want to just pop on there. I'm going to use some Fabri-Tac for the lace. Put a little bit across here. And there. So that looks really pretty. So nice. And then I have this little flower trim here puts a fluff on it now shall I put it along here that would look quite nice wouldn't it I was going to use a little bit of this which I might just pop down there first let's just Tear a little bit. I think I might even just see if I can tear that down a little bit more. So I just want sort of a tiny bit along there. Chop off a little bit of glue. And then I will run the sewing machine just down there as well. this tiny little piece on the other side I'm going to cut it off there I think oops a little bit of glue like that okay. little bits of cotton off so that just edges that and then I'm going to pop that across there 
Now I think I will just glue that. I don't think we will stitch through that. I think I'm just going to glue that on. So that looks pretty, doesn't it? So I'm going to stitch down through there in a minute. Love it. So let's stick these on. Might be able to stitch through it. I'm not sure. We shall see. sure they there they are oops go ahead that quite sure which way around they go I don't think it really matters there we go lovely perfect how pretty right I'm going to now see if I can find in here one of the little tabs there we go that's a better one that's one I would like gosh all my bits and pieces I'm so not organized lately I just make such a mess oh that's pretty isn't it okay let's just fold this over now, this is one of the little um, page tabs so I'm going to just fold that over like that sort of level just cut the little end bits off like that I didn't fold that very well did I that's okay because you won't see it on there anywhere the other side so that can sit on there like that which looks nice what should we put underneath let's pop a little bit of this underneath going to a little bit of glue oops sticks over the top lovely let's just do this side first there we go and I will turn it over and we want something well, it's not very level is it what shall I put down this side? Tiny bit of lace under there. That's not tiny, is it? What have I got here? Let's just cut a little bit of this off, I think. That's what I will do. Put that down here. This can sit in there. Lovely. But that looks nice doesn't it so that just folds up nicely and opens out right so now before I sew that I need to just pop a little bit of something down the sides now I think we'll do this again I'm going to I like this material so let's just tear a little bit off it can be a little bit thicker than the other side I put down there. This can go down. I need to get some more glue. My fabric check is running out. I do have some more bottles, luckily. But this one has to be upside down, down all the time. Perfect. 
Let me just chop that little bit off there. Now I think I might have to just put those so it's level, so it's equal. Let's pop that so it just looks like the other side. go lovely right I am going to go and sew around this I'm going to go down these bits I'm going to let's turn it over this way so I'm going to go down that so obviously it's going to sew both sides I'm going to go down here I'm going to go, and go along the top and see if I can go along here as well so I will be back two seconds okay guys so there we go so I have I did manage to sew through there um, up through these bits along there along there so that's all sewn in so it's all nice and um, secure so I'm loving it so let's just add a little bit more chalk let me put the lid on to here if I can a little bit more chalk just down the edge here just like that this side so yes this has definitely made me um, use a bit more color in my work let's go through there a little bit on the bottom here so that's that side so we still got some lovely journaling space on there and a little bit on here so loving it and then we've got a little tuck spot here um, which is really nice I might put something down here now what I need to do is get all of my little bits and pieces out so I've got them to hand because I can't keep rooting through here let me have a look gosh here we go let's take a look these pieces this is what i want just something like this one of these little tabs or a little pocket i think the pockets are going to be too big or a little round lady's head okay i will be more organized next time i think but i just wanted to show you what i was doing on these because laurie gave me such an inspiration for this one so i'm just going to do it on here actually just pop this little lady there or oh, should we have one of the little oh, I think I'll put that on the back so what can we put under here let's have a little bit of lace down there just pop you I think I will do that it's a little bit too big I think let's just have it sort of on a little loppy angle a little bit of glue stick that down I'll have a little, little bit of scruffy um, lace on there as well let's just put a bit of glue there and then we will pop this little one on top like that oops perfect there we are don't they look nice now this side i think i'm going to pop her there so again let's just get just a little bit of extra lace on here i think Just a stick like that. Can go there and then we'll put some glue on here. And then it like I said before, I'm gonna go round and just I've got some sort of flat back pearly things. So when I've finished 
and I can go round and put those into the journal. So I think that looks really, really nice. So love it. So that can either go fold this way or this way. So it doesn't really matter which way round it goes. Let's get a signature here. That can just sit on there so it can either sit that way. I think they look really, really lovely. A little pocket in here. Then that would open up. You've got journaling space here and here. And then this side, you've got journaling space there. So I'm loving them. So there we go. So that was great. I really, really enjoyed making these. So now I have three of them to fit into the journals into each signature which I'm loving so there we go guys thank you so so much for joining me thank you Laurie for the inspiration I absolutely love them so I'm going to pop a link to her video down below she does them on a bigger scale um, and they are absolutely fantastic so thank you so so much all right guys take care see you soon bye bye